Well, boys and girls, signing a job was a little bit smoother than I anticipated it being in the previous video. We are in Wales. We, I've got to make sure I say this right. We are managing Pennabont, which is apparently in Bridgend, and I can't afford to buy a house. But we're going to try and do a football, and first we're going to meet the squad, and it's all going to be fine. We're off to Europe. We might as well just... It's Wales. How hard can it be to just qualify for Europe first year? Although we are in the bottom half, so we actually can't. <laughs> so it's actually impossible for us to do it because we've... How are we supposed to finish mid-table? Hold on. Have I set myself up for a fall here immediately? Are they going to be happy with this as mid-table? Because we are already as high as we can possibly get this season. So if we finish top of the bottom half, that has to be all right, I guess. Mark Little's the top scorer. I just suggest there's a little bit of a problem going forward. <laughs> It'll be fine. Let's have a look at the team. We play tomorrow. So our best players are Josh Yorworth, formerly of Peterborough United, apparently, former Welsh under-21 international, who had been at Cardiff, then went to Ipswich, went to Crawley, Merthyr, Crawley again, and then apparently was sacked by Posh. He does seem quite good, doesn't he? And then we've got Sean McDonald, who is old, but has played four times for actual Wales. McDonald was at Crewe and left after two weeks to retire. <laughs> wow. Well, it looks like he unretired and came here. But he's played actual Premier League games for Bournemouth. We've got a superstar here. And then Mark Little, who I know all about from his time at Peterborough. That's two former Peterborough boys. And then Ryan Reynolds, not that one, presumably. No, don't think he's that one. Who is a midfield player. And then a lot of very poor players. I mean, the goalkeeper's not bad. He's got decent potential as well. But then it, this squad does decline quickly. This is, the, this is the absolute dregs of the squad. Morgan Pool. I'm sorry if you're watching Morgan Pool. Um, but yeah, there's your absolute dregs of this squad. We have got a little bit of wage budget to play with, though. I don't know if the transfer... Is there a transfer window here? Do we have transfer windows in Wales? Uh, yes. So we've got, like, three days of transfer window left. Get my buddy Harvey. Harvey's got to do some work around here. So get all that being done by him. We will have a look at the staff at some point. It's not a priority now. The priority now is to finish mid-table. Um, scouting. People ask how I do my scouting and how I find my Wonder Kids. Like that. We just leave it to the game to do. And Wonder Kids then arrive. And what I do want to do is leave David Rush to initiate player signings for me. Just in case he finds anybody. Any Why have we got a loan manager? Ben Griffiths, you are stealing a living. You're earning almost as much as I am, yet apparently you can't afford a haircut. We see what you've got going on at the back there. That needs dealing... Right, now you're done. We don't need a loan manager. That's ridiculous. So what have we actually got in terms of staff now? Too many coaches, that's for sure. We've got twice as many coaches as we're supposed to, as we're supposed to have, and we're still rubbish at coaching. We've got a performance analyst we can't afford, a technical director we can't afford, a recruitment analyst we can't afford. We can squeeze in an extra scout, though, so we'll do that. We've also got a sports scientist we can't afford. Right, back where we were before. So we need to do something that involves a centre-back. We're building a tactic now. People ask how I build a tactic when I arrive at a club. You're watching it happen in real time. We know we're playing a flat-back four because Mark Little is one of our best players. He is a right-back, not a wing-back, so we're doing a flat-back four. We'll be doing a flat back four anyway. Do I look Spanish to you? Obviously, we're doing a flat back four. Um, with this guy, he could potentially play as a DM, so we'll see what else we've got. But we know we're doing a back four. We've now got a DM there. So we're probably doing a back four with a DM. And now we're looking at what we've got in other areas. We've got one striker, Corrig McGonagall, who's not very good at all. Sorry, Corrig. Another defender. We've got loads of right backs. We've got any wide players at all? Are we diamonding again? Dylan Sweeney is another left back. 
Dorman is 40. What on earth? He knows it as well. Look at him. Yeah, I'm 40. And look at my teeth. It, what's... I mean... Where, ah, where's he come from? Played three times for Wales. How's he ended up here? <laughs> Last seen playing for the Boston Bolts in the PDL Northeast Division in America five years ago. I know he's just chilling out in Wales, being 40. And earning five pounds a week. I mean, we probably won't build the team around a 40-year-old. That's bonkers. Have we got any wingers, though? Nathan Wood. Would he? Would he? Oh, maybe, maybe he would. So he's a left winger. Do we have a right, a right winger? Kayon Reffel. A lot of old men here, haven't we? A lot of old men who aren't very good. We we don't have an attacking midfielder, so actually we're going to do we're going to be doing a four three three. We've got several central midfielders and DMs. We've got a couple of wingers. We don't have anything resembling an attacking midfielder in the club. He's the closest, and he's not very good at it. So it's a four three three is what we're doing. We're obviously not doing balanced. Do I look like a coward? Um and. We'll whack some Kevy corners on. Uh, that one, which is the one you could... What was that one called? Stop being rubbish FM. What is that corner instruction? I mean... I was obviously angry that day. Let's go back. I don't know how it's different. Let's just do the normal one. Stop being rubbish, FM. Ah, oh, amazing. Uh, we don't want long throws. What do you think this is? We also don't need pervert corners. So we can we can remove pervert corners. Um, remove, remove. But we will have the near post and the far post. As we learned in the video that came out yesterday, which nobody watched. But as we learned in that video, far post corners are the one. We want the far post corners. That's where you score your goals from. Um, and then whack the set piece takers in as well. We're going to have a look and do some trials in a minute as well. We've got wage budget to spend. We may as well spend it. The fact that there's 40 year olds from the MLS just knocking about. Who knows what we might find available for a free transfer. Free it's only Frenchy. Oh, Frenchy. Frenchy's probably coming to Wales. This guy's got talent in his name. Malachi Talent Ayiti. We know nothing at all. I love attribute masking. <laughs> No idea if he's any good, other than the fact he's got talent in his name. So that gives him five points. There really aren't any other names that I recognise, which I guess is fair enough. We don't want uh, a bunch of players we've signed before. That being said, Tyrese Onyeka. What, ha what actually happens in this league? So the playoff conference, is there any way we can qualify for Europe? No, it seems. So what is it a playoff for then? What are we playing off for? I don't understand what, what we're playing off for relegation. What, so even if we don't finish bottom, we could still get relegated. I'm just going to leave them doing what they're doing. Let's, you're not going to be captain anymore. Sorry, boss, I think you're wrong. We'll leave then. I'm going with what my man says. Ryan Reynolds, not that one, is our new vice captain. <laughs> and it's suggesting I make my little captain. Okay. I hope I didn't upset him too much. Oh, David Rush, you're a stylish man. How have we not... How did I doubt you at the interview? If I'd have known you looked like this, David Rush, 
we'd have immediately been firm friends. I will introduce myself to the squad. Hello, boys! Kev's here. Oh. What are you insistent about, Dylan? You've said nothing, but you're insisting. A lot of them have said nothing, but are in really insisting it. What does that mean? <laughs> um, okay. We're going to finish mid-table. There you go. Now you're pleased. I don't know if we mathematically can. Oh, they think we should win the Welsh Cup. Fair enough, then. We'll win it. If that's what you want. We'll we'll win it. Are we still in it? Oh, we're in the quarterfinals. Nice. I want to meet Stefan Jones from the Bridge End Football Daily. I don't think that's a publication that exists. I don't think there's a Bridge End Football Daily. If there is, I promise I will subscribe to it. <laughs> what on earth are they covering every day in the Bridge End Football Daily? That is one of those um, Twitter automatic newspapers that were all the rage about 10 years ago. It's just aggregating news stories automatically and making them look like a newspaper. I, I tell you what, I admire the stones on you, Stefan. We are going to meet. It's the one and only time we'll meet. Big room for us. Uh, yeah, I'm just intrigued. If anything, Stefan, I've probably got more questions for you than you've got for me. I need to know about the Bridge End Football Daily. How excited am I to be Penabon, Penabon's new manager? I am excited, Stefan. I'm very excited. Do I feel my ambitions are matched by the chairperson? I, should, I don't know, probably. You don't have much of a reputation to speak of. You write for the Bridge End Football Daily. I am entirely appropriate for this job. Reese Griffiths was a favourite of many. Pennabont support. I don't care. Yeah, we're going to do... You've had very little time to prepare for my first match. You write for the Bridge End Football Daily. Do you think you'll still be in competitions like the Welsh Cup? Yeah, we're going to win that. I was still on the Reese... Right, I'm now neutral. I'm turning on Stefan. Where did it go wrong for my predecessor? He failed. Do, do you think the next three fixtures represent a good chance of getting off to a good start? No. Um, sometime in the middle of next season will be the best time to get off to a good start, Stefan. This is why you're writing for the Bridge End Football Daily. What kind of moronic question is that? You spoon. No, my first matches are a terrible opportunity to do well at the start of my job. What a moron. Ay ay ay! You must be looking forward to my first match. I mean, these are cutting questions, aren't they? This guy is a journalist. <laughs> shake! I will shake my head. There you go. I've shook. I've shooken my head. Have you been able to talk to the players about my plans for the future? Yes. What attracted me to Pennebont? The name and the big Asda that they built. On Bridge End's old ground. Does the squad have the necessary quality for me to achieve my targets? Yeah. Yeah. Are you... Are the Pennebont fans important to my... There's like nine of them. I, honestly, they don't matter. Not really. How far can I take this club? Third next year and get a job in Scotland, probably? That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> How hard do I expect the players to work? This is a long interview, Stefan. I think we're done, actually. That went on a long time. He's back! S Stefan, one more question? No, we're actually never going to speak again now, Stefan. <laughs> Wowzers. I know we've been in leagues before where I brought in a load of trialists and suddenly was allowed to play them. Right, I don't know who's any good here. Corrig McGonagall. The Professor, as he likes to be known, has only scored one goal for... He's only just signed for us, actually. It was Scotland we were allowed to play trialists, was it? Okay. Raffle on that side. Right. 
Old Man Dorman. How do you feel about being our flying central midfielder? <laughs> He's got, he will be fine. This guy, we're not playing with a playmaker. Do I look Spanish to you? We've not got anyone who can be a playmaker. So how do you expect me to use one world? Um, here we are. Give them a follow. Hashtag Bont. I love it. Hashtag Bont, indeed. What was the last thing they tweeted? Oh, that's an unfortunate timing. <laughs> Eight hours after he signed a contract extension. We've solved that problem. Look at us, knocking the ball around with ease. Kev ball is coming in already. Look at us go. Oh, he's going the wrong way. Look at us go. Look at old man Dorman into the professor. And there's a hashtag bond. <laughs> oh, I knocked my laughing cow down. Oh, up the bond, the professor. Oh. Wonderful stuff. Right, can we just not let another goal in? Because we... Was that a throw in? Hold on. I wasn't looking for a second. He must be throwing this for someone who then kicks it. Okay, that makes more sense. I thought he'd actually thrown it that far. But still, they're going to go score a goal, aren't they? Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh! It was all going so well. It's offside! Wonderful stuff! I mean, that's harsh. They don't get given us offside at this level of football. No way. We've just got to hold on. Right, come on. Here we go. Cherry on the cake, please. It's Raffle. He's raffling down the right-hand side. He's seen we're in for several wingers. Come on! Up the bont! Love it. I'm absolutely getting my bont shirt ordered tonight. I hope they can get it out to me quick. We're going it. I'm, I'm already in love with this football club. We're on our way. We're, we're going. As soon as that league split happens and we get the fixture list out, we'll probably have moved on by then, but still... I need to go to Bridge End. Oh, we've got talent. Bont's got talent. There's your headline. And Frenchie's in as well. Oh, it's all coming together. There he is, look. Malachi Talent R-E-T. Just talent. And Tyree Sonyaka is in. No one wants this guy because he's earning too much money. He's on £140 a week. It's less than I'm on. I mean, I guess we just have to keep him. Kane Owen wants to be part of the Bont project. He doesn't want to leave. Just quickly throw everybody at the club. Tyree Wilson is in. Um, right, that's him in as well. Um, yeah. Go sign for them, please. It's not deadline time yet, is it? So we've still got a little bit of time to sort out squad registration stuff. Right, he's a nice, a nice little signing. Brian Howley. That's Dorman never playing again. He's played a game in the Championship for Coventry this season. Oh, you can just be released. You are not even under contract. You're on zero. You're on a contract for zero pounds a week. How has that even become a thing? You're the player assistant manager. Billy, you're 27. Hang about. Why is my assistant manager 27? He's not. Who the hell is he assistant? He's assistant manager of the under-19s. Get out of here, Borg. I don't understand. Can we just terminate your playing contract? Are you any good as a staff member? You're done, Borg. You are done. Get out of here. Right, let's just get get into this and see how we get on against Newtown. Oh, good. Now the game's starting to lag. Completely fine in the first match. I make a few signings. 
And now the game is lagging. Fantastic. Oh, look at that. Onyeka to talent. Love it. Um, I'm just going to close everything that's not Football Manager. I still don't understand how a game like Football Manager can lag on this computer. I can play triple ga AAA games on no problem. How many games have I played so far? This is only our second game. And we look quite good. Oh, we look quite good. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh ho, ho, ho. yeah, I can sit and play any other game I want with no problem at all. I know it's a couple of the graphics cards a couple of years old, but it's football manager. How is it straining my graphics card that much? Ask Nerdphonic. I, I mean, I've asked him and he's got it running as best it can. He's got this whole extra thing that makes it only use half the cores or something, which is supposed to improve it. Yeah, it's installed on an SSD. And it's such an inter intermittent problem as well because we've just played a match with no juttering. Mm -hmm. It's the rain. Can you? Hey, surely it can't be. Onyeka! Let's see the next match with rain. Yeah, I mean, we're playing in Wales. There's going to be a lot of rain, surely. We're going to 2D the rest of this match, I think. There it is, look. Lag's gone. Look at it go. Oh, this takes me back. I can't even space the bench out so you can see who's on there. See, this is crying out to still be able to dock the panels into the side like you used to be able to. I haven't played Football Manager in 2D for years. We're only doing it for the end of this match, then we'll go. We'll restart the game and go back into 3D. But that is a throwback right there. I remember, yeah, I remember being so excited when they introduced the 2D match engine after years of playing on text only. Um, I suggested that we stick a drone above the pitch and have everybody run around with different coloured paper plates on their head for some of the coverage, but we didn't actually get it all together. I did take my drone, but we didn't get the coloured plates. That would have been awesome. Penalty? We have no idea why, but it is a penalty. Come on, then. Penalty kick. He's facing the wrong way. You can see his little feet. Hey, 6-2. Oh, it's a football goal. It's quite, it's quite interesting. It gives me a feel for how many people might watch if I was streaming on YouTube. I need to do a new save every day. I said the exact thing to, uh, to the rest of Team Lelujo this afternoon. It was pretty clear by about two or three o'clock today that this was heading to be absolutely bonkers because of how much traction the video was getting. Right, we're just going to very quickly um, restart the game. Right, here we go. Another match, another six goals, hopefully. They've got Addo Antoine in their team, who we were very close to sign, and we had him on trial. They're playing him at left wing back. He wouldn't be playing left wing back for us. He'd be a boring old proper left back. Right, hopefully the lag is gone. If it's still lagging now, then we can only assume football manager is stupid. I don't really know what we can do about that. <laughs> Move the bont to the south of France. Why is he just diving around trying to kick people? He missed two people there, just flailing around on his bum, wiggling his feet at everybody. Pack that nonsense in. We scored six, seven goals in our last game. Why are we not winning against this lot? What's going on? Oh, come on now. Carnarvon are a good team. But they're below us in the league, so we shouldn't be losing to them. Come on, Tyrese. Come on. Your wife needs some cardio. Stop taking all those drugs. Man. What? Onyeka has played for me before, yes. There he is, Tyrese Onyeka, come on! Are we on a new hype train again? Don't start this nonsense again, boys and girls. Come on now. What's the story behind Home FC? It's just a creator club that we've done a couple of times, and they're awesome. There's lots of... There's two series on YouTube where we manage them that you should go and watch. They're both great. All right, come on. Let's rubber stamp this one. 
Lovely, lovely, lovely. Rename them Peterborough Home, so whenever anyone is asked who they're playing on the weekend, they'll answer Peterborough Home even when they're away. That could be fun. Look at that. Come on, then. Up the bont. How on earth do you say that team name? Hold on. I'm learning Welsh here. Cambrian and Clydach? Clydach? I mean, that should be a winnable game, shouldn't it? It is a triple threat match. Pennybont, Pennabont, Pen, Pennab. I've already forgotten how to say it. Versus Cambrian and Clydach. Clydach. It's the boys and girls. Well, they've got girls in their team. Pennabont. Uh, Clydach. Clydach or Clydach. And he, there's even more saves on both Lujo and Lujo 2 channels if you need more. Oh, yeah, there's lots. There's like seven years of history on the main channel. Tyree Sonyeka is in. Where, the, where are they in the league in the south? It's a good question. One which... Carl, you can tell us. Carl Bacon. God, he looks hard, doesn't he? You do not want to mess with Carl Bacon, boys and girls. Goodness me. <laughs> Quite startling. They're sixth in the league below. I found you by randomly searching Gainsborough on YouTube. There you go. He's never looked back. What a life-changing Google search that was for you, Christopher. Two We're heading into the semi-finals of the Welsh Cup. We're going to win the Welsh Cup in my first season. I think they sent the email to the wrong guy. But it was me, Ben, and Dave Azapardi were invited down. And we were given very strict instructions on what we were and weren't allowed to do. And I wasn't paying attention and did like a six part series managing Manchester City and was told I couldn't use any of it because of licensing. So I had to very quickly throw together a first look video when I got home after the game came out. Do I see Herculano as a channel legend? Yeah, absolutely. Single handedly won us a Champions League. Uh, Bacon's just absolutely floored on Yekka there. Apparently it wasn't bacon. Oh, we are we are ruining bacon's day. He is gonna deck me. Onyeka's got seven goals already. Uh, while I've got you all paying attention, because there's still a match going on as well, boys and girls. I think I've I've done my plug for Lelujo too. I should now let you all know when the next stream is going to be happening, because we are going to be um, shutting things down after this stream. Because I need to go and have a little cry about what happened earlier. Because you lot are mental. And uh, pfft, madness. Um, but the next stream will be tomorrow night here on Twitch. Same sort of time. I usually start about 6.37-ish. Basically, I have my tea, load the dishwasher, and then come in here. So depends how complicated cooking dinner was. Um, but yeah, we'll be back live on Twitch tomorrow night. We'll be live every night this week, apart from Friday and Saturday. Every, we, we stream Sundays to month, Sundays to Thursdays. Um, sometimes we go in the afternoon instead of the evening, but the best way to find out if that's happening is to follow me on Twitter as well, and I'll let you know on Twitter if we're going early that day. Um, but more often than not, it's like a 6.30, 7pm start here on Twitch, and then, like I said before, the highlights then appear on YouTube the next morning. Another 800 new subs tomorrow. Yeah, I'm not starting the stream until we've had 800 new subs. That's the new normal. Just ask them. It's advertising. That's not a bad idea. I'm just hoping someone clipped you saying, Can't, can you wait until May to see my nipples? I'm sure somebody did. Uh, but yeah, we will. Uh, I will look into doing an Airbnb for a hot tub. Thank you again. I know I've said it a million times. We spent 45 minutes of me just saying thank you over and over again. Genuinely can't thank you enough. That was extreme generosity earlier on this evening. And it's something I'm not going to forget ever. It was just mad. And he's very much appreciated and... Like I said at the time, it's something I've never seen anything like it in seven years on Twitch. I'm probably never going to see anything like it again. It was bonkers and thank you. Um, but we are going to wrap the stream up. Um, I am going to raid over to the playoffs because I feel like I've robbed them of some viewers tonight. So we'll raid over to the FM playoffs and um, I will see you back here seven o'clock tomorrow night for more, more of the bunt. Up the bunt, boys and girls. Thank you for watching. Fiddle Pip. Bye-bye.